PES 2020 Michael Up Squad Builder with 4 triple 2 formation, which is 4 triple 2 flat on PES. In a previous video, we did the Squad Builder with Clove 4 triple 2, uh, 4 triple 3 actually, uh, with the 3 CF. You can check that one out as well. And make sure to check my video about tactic formation advanced instructions, will give you some knowledge. Now, in the meantime, remember PES Universe released a new Squad Builder and player database. You can check that one out as well. Uh, you can save it and load it if you are away from your computer just to have idea take notes how to make your team how to shape it up uh you know when you're bored at work or whatever now four triple two can be very effective especially that a lot of people use santos haven't using four triple two now remember in the meantime before i jump into it i don't want to jump into things you can't just pick any four triple two manager tactic does matter of course the formation is important but you can try four triple two zidane four triple two simeone four triple two uh, you know, Pep Guardiola, tactic does matters. Your players will react and position and attack and defense based on these tactics. And you don't control 11 players. So tactic does matter. And I've tested everything out. Whatever I'm telling you here, I don't pull, uh, you know, tips out of my pocket. I played against human ranked matches. Whatever I learned, I shared it with you guys. So against the diamond, it's very uh, effective. You can really frustrate a diamond formation switching from the right back um, switching from switching the ball from right back to RMF or from um, you know right back to LMF sorry previously from left back or simply just right switch the ball from RMF to LMF overload one side switch to the other that will very frustrate a diamond and you can definitely if you are playing against the diamond in particular um, you can pretty much just shape it something like this it could be even more effective against the diamond uh, diamond formation because that player will drop is going to be against one DMF um, but ideally, four triple two. If you're unsure about the formation, go for it. And the managers that I would recommend who are four triple two: Zidane if he shows up, Diego Simeone if you don't have fast defenders. I mean, Diego Simeone is AAD, but defensive line is still very high. Gaddafi manager, his name is Bordelas, but on the game you may have a fake name, you know. So pick the manager that has four triple two with the tactic that suits your team and style of play. And as I said, if you watch my tactic video, you will know what kind of tactics to avoid. Ideally, for your defense, avoid containment wide and low compactness, you know, and pick counter or position or wide or center based on how you like to play. Now, squad builder with this is simple. Ideally, you want to go for a tall and strong and fast and mobile. Um, I would like you to talk about maybe making a squad based on inspire, because if a player has inspire low pass, two star and lofted pass, it's really important when the players on the ball, your teammate will act like Tony Cruz is going to make a long pass or a lofted pass. But at the moment on the demo, I didn't notice that thing much because shit, man, the aggression of my club is ridiculous. What's more important, it's a player having um, your midfielder should have interception. Uh, that's that's the key thing. And the other thing through passing that will get clean ground through balls much better. Now, again, defensive option, you can go to Anchorman or Anchorman Destroyer. Balance option, you can go Anchorman box to box or um, Destroyer box to box. But I go for a little bit more technical side. I like to use an orchestrator and a box to box. Or if things go really bad, I probably just use a whole player. In your LMF and RMF, try to use players if you have an option who are naturally LMF, uh, like Onikuru right now. I have him, it's a normal silver ball. Uh, level 38 um, and you want to have like an option with your RMF being a right uh, a right footed and he has a pinpoint crossing because believe me I love doing pinpoint crossing with Kimmich it's the, put the ball right on top of the opponent's feet I know Di Maria is uh, left footed I personally like to uh, use Di Maria to cut in and finish rather than um, cross because I don't cross that much with exceptional matches if I want to play a crossing game I will simply switch. Onikuru has a right foot. He can use his right foot to cross. And Dimarius can uh, left foot to cross on the left. But in modern football, really, wingers are all mostly finishers. So pick your squad builder based on the manager that you have. With Zidane, known as frontline pressure aggressive, uh, you have to make sure you have high caliber midfielders, good passers. I like uh, orchestrators this year because they usually have high type position ball control so i can trust them on the ball to dribble and pass most powerhouse midfielders doesn't have great passing or 
you know, aspire feature or, you know, they're not the best dribblers. So pick that based on um, the manager that you pick. But this is based on Zidane. Fullback overlock, cutback, tap in, high cross, low cross. Now, on my club, yeah, if you use attack and fullbacks, um, your LMF and RMF come more central. You might be thinking, hey, Seb, people use 4CB and use 3CB in defense on fullback. What am I using attack and fullback? Well, when you use attack and fullback, you have unpredictable runs from your fullback. Uh, you're going to mess up your um, opponent's uh, defensive and midfield shape. And when you fullback overlap with attack and fullback advanced instructions, your midfielders will actually support the defense. So use that accord and have your opponent plays. If you're playing against a diamond, yeah, maybe the best option is probably hug the touchline and try to switch from left and right, from fullback to right midfielder, from right midfielder to the other guy. When you do that switch against um, a diamond formation, number one, you'll have position. Ideally, you want to do that switch with good passers. And I usually hold L2 in circle to do it manually because I don't trust the passing most of the time. Because with Zidane, usually, Zidane use offensive fullbacks with high skill caliber, like, you know, um, Carvajal and Marcelo. Um, so ideally, you want to use fast fullbacks who could have pinpoint crossing, ideally, as well. But if you're not using Zidane, you can even go three center backs, like uh, use a player who can play a left back and a center back. And when you come here, obviously, you can simply just do that. Boom. Now you have three center backs. So based on how you play, like, for example, if I'm playing against somebody who was just spamming on the left side, I would probably uh, put defense on um, Hamster. Sorry, Jordi Alba. And regarding the advanced instructions, I like to use the most uh, on-the-go advanced instructions is defense on one fullback or defense on one DMF and counter target on one. Wing rotation if I feel like I'm being man mark. Hug the touchline if I need to open up and spread my team. I mean, ideally in real life football, when you lose the ball, you want to be as compact as possible. When you have the ball, you want to be as wide as possible. But surprisingly, my club is all about diamond and give and go and pressure whore and aggression of turn shield pass shoot run basically with the current patch so this is my opinion with the squad builder i went on a 12 win streak with zidane which was the highest win streak and i play all my games live we will have a rtg um uh, coming as well which all the games will be exclusive for youtube so if you are using zidane or any other fortune to managers share your tips we all learn from each other comment down below if you enjoyed the video if you find it useful make sure to share it to support the video subscribe if you haven't with your notification on and like it based on the video. Was it good or not? Don't like it because you can't stand Pez right now. That's unfair. What, if, what else have I forgot? We covered the advanced instructions. We covered the gameplay, how to play. Like, don't focus too much on dude one twos because that's pretty predictable. Ideally, do third man one twos, you know? If you do a one two between Pogba and Aubameyang, you know, don't just give it back to the guy who did the one two. Like, if I'm going to do one two between Aubameyang and Pogba, Aubameyang is on the ball, right? 1-2 with Pogba. I'm not going to give the ball back directly to Aubameyang. 1-2 from Aubameyang to Pogba. I'll give it to Onikuru and then to Aubameyang. That is more of a third man run. And play less predictable, man. Like, for example, a 1-2 between Onikuru and Pogba. I'm on the ball with Onikuru. 1-2. Onikuru makes a run. Boom. Through ball to Aubameyang. You know? Catch him a bit off guard. Or other way around. A 1-2 between... Uh, Aubameyang and Pogba, Aubameyang makes a run, a through ball to the flank or other way around. Third man 1-2 is uh, very essential. You have to learn to do that because good players will read simple 1-2s. And regarding the gameplay, it's very, very important to involve your LMF and RMF in your gameplay. If I've forgotten anything, let me know. Till next time, I've been Sepp.